Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, this feels illegal to know. What's a piece of information that you learned that feels illegal to know? When you buy anything from any company, large or small, and you sign up with your information you put in for a membership rewards program, or you're just buying it, you know, putting in your shipping information, creating an account. When they ask your name, put your first name, that company's name as your middle name, and your last name. My name is Albert Cohen. My middle name, I'll put in Walmart or Walgreens or whatever. And the reason why is because when you get ads, when you get spam, when you get any mail, anything like that, that's actually illegal according to CCPA, which is rolling out in the US and GDPR in the UK. Why does this matter? Because you get money per breach and now you know who did it. So you can actually find them for a lot of money. In Europe, I think it's 2% of annual revenue, which is a ton of money. And it's her breach. So go make some money, guys, and hopefully this helps. <sighs> Do with that information what you will. Does anyone else get like an obscene amount of spam emails? Ugh. Oh my gosh. Go away! Like, there's some stuff that's like, I never, I don't even know what this is. How do you have my email? And there's some companies that, like, I've unsubscribed so many times and they still send it to me. I'm a sue yo ass! A long, long time ago, I sold motorcycle and car insurance. And when I would start quotes, you always ask for people's occupation. The reason that they ask for your occupation is because they're trying to determine your reliability as a human being. So if you work in the service industry as a server or bartender, uh, you work as a construction worker, if you do anything with your hands that does not need a degree, they see you as less reliable. But if you have some sort of education or you have an occupation that involves more education, like a doctor, a lawyer, um, a teacher, they see you as a more reliable person. So you get better rates. You don't need to prove your occupation. Just wanted to make that clear. So um, they also see you as more reliable if you're married, not if you're single. Um, yeah, so that feels illegal to know, but I know that. Oh, that is so judgy. So, so judgy. First of all, if you're married, listen, you could get divorced, in which case half of your income is gone, well, depending on who you are. If you're, you know, someone that works with your hands or in trades, a lot of those people out earn people like articling students, like lawyers that aren't, you know, haven't been doing this for a really long time. I don't get that. I literally don't get it. I get judged. If I put down content creator or YouTuber as my occupation, you would be surprised how many people are like, well, that's not a stable income. And I'm like, babe, Babe, maybe for you it's not. I deal with this all the time, actually. So I don't put content creator. I put CEO, bitch. <laughs> CEO of a media company. About a month ago, I discovered a way to get through customer service lines in less than two minutes and talk to a real person and Ooh. not wait on hold for hours and hours. Ooh. Time is money in my business, and when I'm waiting on hold with Expedia, or American, Delta, Verizon, AT&T, they're literally wasting my time when I only have one question to ask them. This information I'm gonna share with you is definitely gonna save you a lot of time and literally 90% of the time I get through in less than two minutes and they help me and I'm on my way. Let's say you call American Airlines or Wells Fargo, you call up the customer service number, you get to the main menu and you click zero pound, zero pound, zero pound and you go all the way through to a customer service rep just like that. This little piece of information has saved me so much time and aggravation and frustration, so I try it out and it worked about 90% of the time and only on the larger companies. Interesting. I do like that one. I literally dread having to call customer service every single time because I know I'm gonna be on hold for like at least an hour. Oh, buddy. I used to press zero, you know, and now zero just like isn't an option anymore, but I'm definitely gonna try that. Love this little hack skis. I love a good hack. I've also heard that when you're on hold, they can actually like hear what you're saying. So be very, very careful about what you say when you're on hold. They're listening. You guys know that Monday markdowns in Costco Canada are a real thing, right? But if you've paid attention, there have been two mega markdown Mondays this year. This one and this one. And here's the thing that feels illegal. You're going to want to take a screenshot oh, okay, okay. of the next picture okay. I show you. That's the schedule 
of all the mega markdown Mondays for Costco Canada this 2023. Do you guys get that? Do you guys get that? Let's go shopping! Meanwhile, Costco Canada is filing a lawsuit. All right, let me put you all in game. So for those of you who know what Sonic is, you know, it's a, it's a drink spot. It has ice cream, hamburgers, french fries, all that. Here's the thing. If you use the app, you get half price drinks all the time. The usual happy hour is between 2 to 4. With the app, it is all the time. Use the information. Save yourself some money. We don't have Sonic in Canada, but I mean... Thank you, sir. Anybody else absolutely obsessed with like Sonic ice cubes? Like th those ice cubes be hidden different, you know? <laughs> it stays cool for so long. This for all my nasty. <laughs> all right, iPhone users, go to your settings and type in control center. I know it's cut off, but that's the control center. Scroll down and you're gonna add hearing to your control center. Make sure it's in there. Go to your control center and press the ear. That's the hearing option. You'll have two pills, the red pill or the blue pill. We're gonna go with the live listen first. This is the interesting one. What does the live listen do? This is what the live listen thing looks like. You put one headphone in one of your ears and you leave the other headphone wherever you wanna listen in on. Boyfriend, girlfriend, who the f ever you wanna listen to, put one of them headphones in that room with them and put the other headphone in your ear put it on the lab listen and you can hear them you can hear what they're saying the other option is a background sound of rain isn't that nice and calm calming effects for after you get done busting his ass. the more you know love you i see no problem except for the fact that you know airpods actually lose their battery quite quickly <laughs> zero problems except i don't know how effective it will be because there won't be any battery in the headphones Babe. Does someone want to test out this theory, this hack skis, and find out how long that an AirPod will actually retain its battery? I'm just asking for a friend, not not because I want to do this, just, just because. I am curious. Curiosa and curiosa. That the number of applicants to a job posting on LinkedIn is actually fake? Let me explain. If I click apply but don't apply to the role, and then I click refresh, the number goes up. So don't be intimidated by number of applicants. Period. Period. I have my period. That's why I say that. I'm just in a perpetual state of period. Hey, never forget that the reason why combination KFC, Taco Bell, Pizza Huts exist in the first place is because Pepsi couldn't compete with Coca-Cola in the fast food marketplace. See, for the longest time, Pepsi's unofficial slogan was, is Pepsi okay? Because everyone was ordering Coke. So every restaurant was turning Pepsi down. Pepsi took a look at the numbers and realized it was cheaper to buy three fast food chains than to actually compete in the marketplace with Coca-Cola. So that's what they did. They bought KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut. So once they got those together, they started running them as a division of Pepsi. After a while, they spun that off as its own company called Yum Brands. But if you go to any of those locations, they still only carry Pepsi. Young Brands turned around and looked at the fact that they had three restaurants that all served Pepsi and realized it would be cheaper to go ahead and combine a couple of these restaurants so then they don't have to have as many physical locations to be able to still encapsulate a market. They thought that idea was so much so genius and how much money they would save from not having locations that they then took those savings and used that to lobby both the federal government in Washington and all of your fun state governments to make sure that the minimum wage was kept low, to make sure that they could keep paying people dirt wages so that way they could keep saving money and giving that money back to their shareholders. Which is the reason why today when I wanted... Taco Bell, the goddamn lobby was closed because nobody wants to work at Taco Bell for f minimum wage because it's 725 in f Pennsylvania. The minimum wage in Pennsylvania is 725 an hour and I just wanted a f Mexican pizza, but nobody was there to work to keep the f lobby open and I don't want to eat a Mexican pizza in my car. It smells like sh but it tastes delicious. I just want to eat a fucking Mexican pizza and they don't have enough staff to have a fucking open lobby. And also I want access to the bathrooms. But no, Pepsi couldn't fucking compete with Coca-Cola.
back in 1973, so I had to eat a fuck. Mexican pizza in my car, <laughs> and now my Nissan Rogue smells like sh Wow. Thank you for that lovely rant, sir. I can see why you're upset. I really, really can. You know, at first I would have said that you were hangry, but no, you're just upset about the smell. I find it really, really funny that Pepsi has to, like, come up with these insane marketing schemes just to be able to compete with Coke. Does anybody, like, actually, or, like, go to a restaurant and be like, I'll have a Pepsi. No, no, we don't. We don't. It's just a Coke, like a Coca-Cola. Whatever you have is fine. No, I want specifically Pepsi. Absolutely not. This man was seriously out for blood. <laughs> He's out here exposing all of y'all at Pepsi. If you ever want to get a free drink in any kind of restaurant, bar, anywhere in the entire world, you can just pick up an empty cup, can, or bottle, go up to the bartender or management and say you've spilled it. Frank. Does that work? Does that work for you? I've never tried that. That kind of sounds like stealing though. That uh, might be a little illegal to know. Like a little illegal, a little illegal to, to do as well. How did you find that out? You must have done it enough times. AFC does free refills on buckets of chicken. There's no way. I just want like a bucket of chicken, like an eight piece. Eight piece. Hi, uh, I'm all finished with my bucket of chicken. Was wondering if I could get a refill. Oh, you talking about that one thing? Yeah, the refill policy. I don't know if we can do that. Hey, can we do that for you? Okay. Thank you. Can you have that eight piece crispy? Yeah, eight piece crispy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I appreciate Enjoy you. Your wow, it works. Whoa. That's crazy. Whoa! They just be out here giving away that chicken for free. Hang on. Let me just read the rules for y'all in case you're interested. It only applies during the 60 minutes after the purchase. The refill must be requested after waiting in the regular line at the restaurant's counter. You must show your receipt in order to request the refill. Once a customer has left the restaurant, the refill is no longer valid. Wow. Oh, oh, wow. Does KFC want people knowing this? Like, I feel like this is like kind of detrimental. So y'all know the guy that does those videos in his bathroom, he'd be like, <laughs> he wasn't lying. You can get a goddamn free bucket of chicken at KFC if you finish it under an hour and you have your goddamn receipt. I swear to God, I don't even know what's real anymore. It's some Mandela effect. Shit. I don't know. <laughs> okay, but like, be honest, babe. If you ate that much KFC chicken, you won't be feeling too good. I'm just saying right now, you're gonna have a spicy bum. <laughs> the spiciest bum. Come here. 